Hi there, welcome back to another ROM review from Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review a ROM called Octavi OS. The ROM that I have installed or flashed onto my device, Redmi Note 5 Plus, is the GApps version of Android 12 Octavi version 3.2. So let's begin the journey with a glimpse of system specification. So basically, Octavi OS, the Android version is 12 and the Octavi version is 3.2 official and the maintainer for Wins is Ghostmaster and um, the SE Linux is enforcing the kernel version with this particular ROM is 4.9.294. So that is about the uh, specification of this particular uh, ROM. Let's see the quick settings. Well, Octavi OS is famous for the customization options that are being given to the ROM, also the user interface. We all are familiar with the user interface, what they had given to um, the particular ROM in Android 11, which was very cool and attractive. As we can see that the quick settings um, clock has a new UI or has a new layout, which is pretty much good. And um, scrolling down, you can see that there is an option for the brightness slider to be on the bottom and there is a auto brightness icon or button here. So which is really nice. So um, these all are the application which are which you get in this particular version of ROM. Well, this is a GApps version. However, I can see that the messages app is not in the GApps version. I guess maybe this is a source issue, but the messages app is not here. As you can see from the uh, the dialer which is being used in this particular version of ROM is Octavi dialer and you can see the user interface over here let me try to call okay basically I'm in an area where Airtel doesn't have any network coverage so as you can see that it is the latest uh, Octavi dialer and this is how the user interface looks like these all are the apps which you get in this particular version of ROM and you, ca you have camera go as default now um, this YouTube is not included in this ROM which is which is something that I have installed and even the calculator I guess this is not the Google calculator but it's being modified so that looks really fantastic and let's go to the settings page well as you can see that the settings page itself has a different user interface than that we get in the regular Android 12 ROM and uh, by clicking on honor info you get a different option so which looks really cool and even if you want to set a custom image over here which you can do so if you want to manage your multiple users you can certainly do that uh, if you want to manage your account from here you can straight away go to the passwords and account uh, uh, settings page so that is something that's really cool with this particular uh, row and even as you can see that the icons being displayed onto the um, onto the other side is really cool and those icons are also really fine so the settings page itself has some kind of um, some kind of change in it in this particular row well i don't think that i need to go through all other options since we all are familiar with android 12 rom and let us go straight into the customization what the rom offers us so let's click on the octavi lab which is the customization app for this particular rom let us start by status bar well the first option in the status bar item is or the status bar is status status bar items these all are the options that you get in the status bar item second one is clock and date settings you can customize the clock and dates settings i don't think you can rearrange the clock like center medium left or right you cannot do that then is the battery well this must be the battery light and uh, that option is not available in this room then battery settings you can rearrange the battery into different styles now i have chosen um, text which I always prefer to have and even you can have the battery bar being enabled into the status bar top or bottom which is really nice now traffic indicators well you can 
uh, enable the traffic indicator into expanded header or status bar uh, you can customize the net activity into dynamic uh, download or upload or both in whatever that is convenient to you and even you can uh, adjust the font size of the status net activity indicator then you have the carrier label then you have the bluetooth battery status option then if you want to see the notification count definitely you can do enable this uh, option but there is a problem if you are enabling that please make sure that you disable the colored status bar icon otherwise it will look a uh, bit awkward yeah here you have the option to disable the colored status bar icon if you are if you like to use that feature you can definitely do that i do personally like that feature so i always try to use it then we have the volite icon customization so you can select a range of volite icons if you wish to then is the status bar padding you can arrange the status bar uh, padding from here so let's have a look if we can arrange the right padding yeah okay so you can basically uh, custom arrange the status bar padding as per your wish so that's also a nice feature that is being added on to this row then second is the quick settings as we can see that quick settings it's having the basic customization option we don't get the custom quick settings clock maybe it will be added on in the future to this row but we get what we basically need like the brightness slider to be on bottom uh, if you want the adaptive brightness button being displayed you can do that or disable it or enable it then comes the notification well notification we don't have much uh, customization available over here we don't have the retigger option yet for android 12 i believe um, someone will port it to the android 12 maybe i'm not sure about it then is the octavi theming even with the octavi theming we get a uh, um, lot of fonts which we can use in this particular row so let me see let me take google sans or we get a lot of fonts over here and there isn't any option to install custom font but still it's okay and we can even customize the signal um, signal uh, icons in the status bar you can customize wi-fi icon in the status bar as you can see these all are the options that are available for that and even monitor customization if you wish to use custom color definitely you can use custom color and uh, um, if you don't wish to use the wallpaper color now let's move on to volume panel we are not getting any custom volume panel theming at all but it's just a basic some um, some options then navigation menu well navigation bar you can customize uh, navigation bar if you wish to but we don't have any like one ui navigation bar and all then gestures if you wish to have a, a double tap to wake or double tap to sleep by tapping onto the status bar and all you can enable it and disable it from the gestures then comes the power menu these all are the options that are available in the power menu if you want if you wish to if you wish to um, enable advanced reboot option definitely you can do that from here lock screen these all are the lock screen uh, options that are being available in this ROM and you can even customize the lock screen shortcut. Then comes the visualizer. If you wish to have a visualizer when you play some music in the music app, uh, you can certainly do that. Then is the miscellaneous. Now these all are the options that are available in the customization uh, section of this particular ROM. Well, um, to be honest with you, what are my reviews about this ROM? This ROM is great to use as a daily driver and right? it's really smooth. Um, well, what about the battery backup? I don't know about the battery backup because even if I say something about the battery backup, different users do have different uh, battery backup. So it really depends upon your usage and a lot of factors. But the ROM is really smooth and it can be used as a daily driver. Please, many thanks for watching the video and please make sure that you stay subscribed to this channel so that you won't miss any further updates and do not forget to press the bell icon too. Thank you very much.